While working in Multisim, you might often find when you open files that you have quite a few windows open and something's wrong with the settings. One of the things you can do is first get rid of the extra windows by simply Xing out or closing each of those individual windows, giving me more workspace to focus on. Once you have the individual workspace, if you right click anywhere on the open space within the grid, you simply indicate properties. And if you click on properties, you get this new menu. All of the little tabs up here at the top indicate something different about the space you are now working in. When you want to turn names of components on and off, you can simply check or uncheck these values here and see them appear or disappear in the space here on the right. So for example, if I hit apply, see what happens to the circuit on the left. Notice that all of my labels have disappeared. Each individual label, as you turn it on, you can hit apply and find out what each thing is. As you use the program more, you find you'll discover that there are simple ways to remember each of the individual labels. Let's turn everything back on. There are some additional items, uh, which we'll address later. But moving on from here, we have relationship to colors or the color scheme within your circuit. Standard color scheme has everything as standard red wires, blue components, and uh, black power sources, typically, if you're on a white background. If you change the background to something of a custom color, Please note that all of the custom colors chosen allow you to make the each part something different. If you choose a black background, notice that most of the parts are pretty much the same as you saw with the custom setting. You can also have the white and black setting also. And finally, the black and white setting. Your setting is your preference. However, most files, I will ask that files be white background only. The workspace tab. Workspace tab allows you to play with the actual settings of the space first of which is your grid. You can either choose to show the grid, which I find very useful at times, or turn the grid off by deselecting the check mark there and hit apply. Please note my workspace has now changed to no grid. For right now, I'll simply turn it back on and then move on to the sheet size. When you're working with a particular circuit, you might need a little bit more space. Currently, I'm working with a six by six inch space. I might need more room for some of my circuit designs. So if I move away from custom, I can simply choose a standard size, whether it's A, B, C, D, or E. My favorite one is actually C. It's quite large. You can see the dimensions have now changed, and I can apply those settings. Or I can simply type in a size that I wish, say a 12 by 12 setting, and I can apply that as well. Notice that the page shape behind me has also changed. You choose your setting size according to whatever your circuit design requires. Smaller circuits, obviously smaller space. It's entirely up to you. Additionally, if you move on to the wiring tab, for those of you that have a hard time seeing the little fine wires on, over this grid, you might want to adjust the wire width size. Wire width increases as you increase the value here. Typically, the values of 2 or 3 are acceptable for wire sizes. Beyond that, they get much larger, but a little bit ridiculous at the same time. So 2, I will leave for this one. Notice that my wire size has now also changed, and all of my values have adjusted. The additional values here for font, if I include text or other information, I can change the actual font, style, size, and so on. There are some additional tabs here, those we typically don't use, so I will leave that be. If you have any additional questions about changing your workspace settings, please ask, and thank you for watching.